Hi and welcome back. My name is Ali and I'm a first year computer science student. This is our week one second video and our second task, second exercise that we are doing when it comes to Python programming. And this is the problem we have in front of us. So we have a teacher who has bought a packet of 40 sweets and he, she plans to share this amongst 14 students. Because a single suite cannot be shared, the teacher will keep what is not given to the children. The teacher will keep the minimum number of suites possible. So, we need a program that will create an output that will tell us how many of suites each child will receive. Also giving us the information of how many suites remain in the hands of the teacher. So, as a single suite cannot be shared between pupils, the program must calculate and output the number of suites per child and the number that the and the number that the teacher keeps for herself. So, it is a female teacher. Okay. The calculation must be done using the remainder operator. So, let's start writing in Python. So how do we approach? So first, let's store the information that we were given in the actual instructions. So we have 40 suites and we have 14 students. So we have stored this as our variables here. Remainder can be calculated quite easily by dividing number of suites with the number of students. So let's see what we have now. If we print remainder, well, that's a mistake. Sorry, it was 14 students, not 40. So if we print the remainder, we have 12. This number is telling us how much of sweets are left in the hands of the teacher. So we know that 28 sweets can be distributed equally to the students. So. The next part is as simple as deducting the remainder, the number of suites that the teacher will be able to keep for herself, which was 12, from the total amount of suites. So we have suite and we are deducting the remainder, the 12 suites that the teacher keeps. So this should be our 28 number, 28 indicating the total number of suites that can now be equally distributed to the students by the teacher. And our simple number of suites each student gets is as simple as dividing the total number of suites that can be distributed, which was 28, with the number of students. So now, if we want to print this, we will get 2.0. There we go. So this is the maximum number that... So, so this is our maximum number of suites that each student can receive and our number of suites that the teacher keeps to herself is 12. Simple as that. You got a low Python. That's our problem solved and I'll see you in the next video where we do our third and the last exercise for week one of Computer Science University.